lovelies, welcome to today's video, which is a DIY advent calendar for a little one-year-old girl called Vivi. So the reason for sharing this video is that I wanted to basically show you what I've got um, Vivi for her advent calendar this year, because as some of you may know, um, Vivi's actually um, been diagnosed with a cow's milk protein allergy, so there isn't too many sort of non-dairy um, advent calendars, so the traditional chocolate advent calendar, around um, on the retail market. So I decided to kind of put together a mixture of dairy-free chocolate and also little toys for her to play with over the festive season. So as you can see, we've already got our Christmas decks up in our house, we're feeling super festive so we put those up um, at the last weekend um so yeah i'm so excited for christmas and i just hope my little girl um can share excitement with me i know that they probably won't understand it um sort of this age but they'll definitely get excitement um from an advent calendar so what i'll basically do is tell you where my advent calendar's from where i picked it up from and just go through some of the bits that i am gonna put in it so yeah stay tuned and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and follow me on instagram it's at life with little one and i'm leanne hawley brilliant thank you so we decided to get this material advent calendar which we can hopefully hold on to for years from Lidl so I think it was around five pound my mum picked it up for me um, last week and actually I was struggling to find one um, on the high street so I'm really glad that she spotted this in Lidl for me so obviously there are there's actually only 24 um, pouches on this but there are a decent size as you can see so they'll definitely fit chocolates um, in and hopefully some of the toys that I've selected in Vivi so here are some of the bits that I got. I realised that when I post this video, it is going to be a little bit last minute. I'll be posting it on the 29th of November. So if you don't have time to run around the shop sort of getting ideas um, for filling those advent calendars, then perhaps you can use some of these gift ideas in um, your little one's stockings. So yeah, so first up, um, I saw these in Primark. So what they are is they're actually bath finger puppets. So they're obviously Christmas themed um, and as you can see they're reduced from three pounds to one pound which i thought was an absolute bargain so i'm going to just put each of these um in one of the days on vivi's advent calendar and i take her to um a caterpillar music class um every week which she absolutely loves and that is full of puppets so i can imagine she is going to absolutely love these so for a pound for five it's an absolute bargain you can agree so next up i saw on a facebook advert was actually so these are from Dunelm and these were five pounds and what they are is they're actually festive bath toys so I'll open them up now um I just thought we can either use them as bath toys obviously put one in a day um or she can actually just use them as you know like the little happy land um little model sets um that she can use and she can just play with they're sort of like new toys for her to like to get in and out she'll absolutely love them so as you can see oh look how cute this is Oh, a little gingerbread man. So it's such a good selection. So there's a little gingerbread man, a tree, a polar bear. I don't know whether the light you can see that. Sorry about my nails. They're disgusting. I will be getting them done soon because my friends get married in a week's time. Um, so I don't want nails looking like gross. Um, now they are actually bath toys. So I think they squirt but I'm not really sure. But like I said, I, well, I probably won't use them as bath toys because these tend to get really moldy if you have them in the bath. Like a little candy cane, a robin. So I think there's 10 here. So again, for five pounds, that works out like 50p an item. So if you wanted to do it cheap, there's Santa. I know that every time I go, ho, oh, oh, ho, oh, ho for Santa, Vivi like chuckles. She absolutely loves Santa. Um, so I can't wait to do that for her. And you've got a little snowman. The light looks a bit weird. He doesn't look the friendliest of snowmen, to be fair. But, you know, they're quite good for chewing on as well. Vivi's teething, I think, her ninth tooth at the moment. So these will be amazing for her to chew on. And then a present. And a penguin. So as you can agree, they're like a really good selection. So I think Dunelm still have them in. So I'll put a link in below. Um, but for £5 for that set, it is amazing. So I'm going to include them. Um, and in terms of like um, sweet treats, because I was conscious that I didn't want her to like go overboard on chocolate, because Vivi is quite good with her food, but if you give her like treats, so if you give her like an Ella's Kitchen like little crisp or something like that, she definitely does get like addicted to them and 
I guess she's kind of like me from that respect. I can't eat like one Harry Bell. I have to have the entire bag. So I don't want her to get like used to having chocolate every day. Um, so what I've done is I actually popped into my local Holland and Barrett because um, they do quite a good um, dairy free range. Um, and I picked up these, which is dairy free confectionery. I don't know whether you can see. Is that focused? Basically they're caramel flavored um, little truffles. So I know they might be quite sophisticated for a one year old's palette, um, but I thought they're really good because they're individually wrapped. Now, quite often when you buy dairy free chocolate, um, it's got a lot of kind of additives that aren't, aren't good um, from to obviously eat, but this has got quite a small ingredients list, so I'm not too worried about having these. Um, if you can hear a bit of background noise, I think Vivi's just woke up from a nap, so I'm going to have to pop up and get her in a minute. Um, so sorry about that. I tend to try and film these um, YouTube videos when she's napping, unless obviously she's in the YouTube videos. Um, so I'm going to open these up. So I think these were around the £3.50 mark, so they're fairly expensive. Um, I think you get about 10 in them. But yeah, so they come in individually wrapped little things, so I can pop those in each of the pouches. So that's another thing that I got. And lastly, so lastly I picked up this, which is bloody brilliant for the price, to be honest. I think this was around four or five pounds from the range. And we're like addicted to the range. It's just opened, um, they've just opened a shop in Newark. And I'm literally gonna be in there all the time. And anyway, so it's called a Christmas activity set. Like I said, I think it was five pounds. Um, but you get four books and one of them is an interactive one. Um, so obviously it's battery powered. Now I know that obviously the pouch, these won't fit in the pouches on our advent calendar. But what I was gonna do is maybe um, just give her those or like pop it in like a little toy box or something like that. Um, so that she definitely gets them on the days that there are. So these are fantastic. So I'll open them up and show you a little bit of the books um, and I'll try and link all the products that I've used um, below. Oh my goodness, so this is actually so good. Like I'm even more impressed having opened the box. Um, so this is just one of the books, for example. It's Hello Santa, it's got jingly bells. And like I said earlier, I take Vivi to a music class every week. So she is gonna absolutely love that she can rattle a book as well as opening it. Um, so yeah, so it's got, it's got amazing little flaps. And Vivi absolutely loves flaps in books. I don't know about anyone else's babies, but literally, if it's a book without a flap, she'll be going like this on the page to try and open it. And then she'll go, Wah, if there's no flap. So actually, this is fantastic for the money. So I'm so happy with that. Um, so yeah, that is basically all the items that I've got um, for Vivi's advent calendar. Um, it's five finger puppets, 10 little bath toys slash like little teething toys, um, some chocolates and four books. So hopefully that's enough to fill up the advent calendar. So yeah, if you like these um, videos, please give them a thumbs up. And like I said, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. I'm Leanne with Life, from Life with Little One and thank you for watching. Ta-ta!